Hi there everybody, it's Helen from Slim and Stylish and I'm a Stamping Up UK independent demonstrator and I have an exciting project today. I have took part in a global blog hop organised by Janet Waitland out the US. She is amazing, her videos, her blogs, they're all fantastic, go and check them out. But this is the card that I've submitted to the blog hop and I submitted this, if you follow my website, it would have been yesterday at 10 p.m. English time. And I'm releasing the video today to show you how to do it and introduce you to the new suite and the new stamps that's in this one. I love this suite. It's gorgeous. It's in the new occasion spring summer catalogue. And it's so fresh and cute. Fruit basket. And it's got little punches. I love little punches. I love the itty bitty punches. They are just so cute. So I'm going to get to making this and showing you the paper, the stamp set and the punches. Um, and get you introduced to, to the set. I've also used some clear epoxy shapes just here. So I'm going to show you those as well because they are also a new product in the catalogue. So let's get started. Firstly, you're going to need a base piece of card for your cardstock, for your base of your card, if I say that correctly. <laughs> I've done what I usually do. I've took a piece of A4 paper, I've cut it in half, and I've just scored it in half as well, so it's easy for me just to grab my bone folder and straighten that down. Okay, it's best if you always score it. I know sometimes when I do my time lapses, I just fold them quickly and do it with a bone folder. I have pre-scored those because if you don't, your cardstock cracks at the top. So it's just better to give it a pre-score. Okay, so that is A4 card cut in half. If you are in the US, it, well, it's 10 and a half centimetres, but it's just over four inches. Okay, and I have some green lemon lime twist which I'm going to put on to the Knight of Navy like that and then I have the DSP which I've also cut down so if you're following this and you want it in inches I cut quarter of an inch down for the lemon and lime twist on each section and then quarter of an inch again for the strawberries if you're doing it in centimetres, I just cut half a centimetre down on each one. So it just framed it nicely like that. This paper is so cute. I'm just going to get them all. It's six by six paper that you get in this suite. And I'm just going to quickly run through them. You've got the strawberries and on the back of the strawberries, you've got the night and navy with the dots, kiwi fruits and stripes, melons, and kind of confetti. Raspberries, they look, they are. I was gonna say raspberries straight away, but now it's confused me. They just look like circles at a distance, but they are raspberries. And this beautiful scalloped piece. Pineapples and the lines. I love this with all the scalloped circles and colors. Scallop circles, scallop, scallop colours, so bright. And the green check. Your apples and pears. And they're like little V's, like, you know, the little, the way you draw birds when you're young, it's that sort of idea. Limes, oranges, grapefruits, perhaps. And a, a spotty one there. I hope you can see these, the colours are amazing. I love this one, it's just like you've just sprayed it. You know what you can do? I'll give you a tip with this. You can make this sort of impression on your own cards. If you just grab your blender pens, I haven't really got any, but if you've got a blender pen, and I know I just use my blend, not this, you want your, your stamping blends, these ones. I'll show it properly for you these if you open it so it's on that part there and you knock that against the other one it will shoot and spray just like this and you can make your own spray I saw that done it on stage and I thought that was really clever so um other melons black and white spots with oh pomegranates are they I, I don't know 
Not sure. I'm actually allergic to fruit. I've got oral allergy syndrome, so I can't have fruit, so I'm not very good with them. Um, again, those are those little Vs and a dotty background. And then you've got some stripes and bananas, and you've got them all again. You've got four of each, basically. And those are all of the papers, and I think they're so cute and gorgeous. But the one I'm using for this project is the strawberries and the blueberries. So I'm just going to go straight ahead and I'm just going to stick those on. It's DSP, so I can do it with my snail. Yeah, I've never been able to really eat fruit. It's an extension of hay fever. And when I was growing up, obviously, my parents thought that I was just saying I couldn't eat fruit. <laughs> Kept eat, feeding it me. And in the end, we went to the, the doctors and they, they did say it was an allergy. And it's a shame because now I'm older, I would actually really like to eat fruit, especially in the summer when it's really hot. But there we go. Can't do it. So once you've got that all stuck on, I'm just going to come in with a Knight of Navy chevron ribbon, throw my ruler all over the place over there. And I'm just going to put that around and create sort of a belly band effect with it at the bottom in a bow. I don't use Knight of Navy that often, but when I do, I really fall in love with it. It's, I seem to use a lot of black, so when I use the Knight and Navy, I feel it's a bit of a fresher, happier looking project, if you know what I mean, because it's, it's a bit brighter with Navy. There we go. Just pull that in a bit. I don't want it to be that bigger. Bow, there we are. Scissors. There, there. Did you all have a nice new year? This is my first video since New Year, so I hope you all did. I'm not a big, big New Year person. We stay in. We normally watch a film, and then we see whoever's on them um, on the telly doing the countdown with a few songs. Watch Big Fat Quiz of the Year. Do you all watch Big Fat Quiz of the Year with uh, with Jimmy? If you're you're in America watching this. I bet you don't get the Big Fat Quiz of the Year. And it's a shame. It's really funny. I find it funny. I love, love Jimmy Carr. Right, I'm just going to stick that on the back. I'm going to use Fuse because they are two pieces of card sticking together. Okay. And then I'm just going to create the panel. So to create the panel, I've already pre-cut my parts. So this was just the end of the paper. So where that goes down to six inches, because I cut it shorter than six inches, I just had that left. And I'm just going to stick that on there. So I just need to trim it down. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm just eyeball that there. We'll use the snail. And then... Okay, so you've just got a little bit of Knight and Navy on each end. And then I'm just going to fuse onto it the Lemon Lime Twist. Give a nice little border around the side like that. Okay, and then on this piece here, I'm going to come in with Crumb Cake Ink. going to leave a little gap because I'm going to be putting my sentiment underneath. So I'm just going to drop that on there. And is that all I'm using? I'm not sure. Knight and Navy. I've got so many different colours because these fruits incorporate quite a few. that um, I'm having to just quickly run through them and I run out of blocks as well so I'm going to have to change blocks part way through and I'm sorry you're going to see my head because I want to make sure that that's directly over I think that's right roughly considering my head wasn't over the top it's it's close enough I'm going to do the 
tip and trick that I've done so often now, which is just using the fine tip glue. And I'm just gonna do that for inside those marks there, just to give it a bit of 3D effect. Just lightens that up a bit. I learnt this trick in October. We went to a day with the Pootlers, which is Sam Hammond Donald's team, which I'm on. And um, we learnt this tip and trick there. And you know, ever since, I can't think of a video I've done where I haven't used it. I think it just looks really nice. So let's just put that back in. I'm just going to leave that to dry at the top. When you do do it, if if you haven't had a go yet and you're going to, have your paper piercer handy because it does leave some little, I don't know if you can see that, some little air bubbles in it just here. And I'm just going to pop those. Otherwise they dry with the air bubbles and it doesn't look as good. There we are. I'm impatient with the, uh, the paper piercer. It's a juicy nail. But there we go. So I'm just going to grab a spare piece of scrap Whisper White now. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to use the fruits. So firstly, what have I got? This is the stamp set so we can go through and make sure we have a few of each. I did three pairs before. So I did the pairs using Lemon Lime Twist. Okay, one. Two, three. Now, if you weren't going to punch these out, they do have a silhouette um, just there, which you can go round with them first. But I'm going to punch these out so the silhouette is too big if you use that. The silhouette's far too big on the punch. Where's my... This is tiny. The little stalk to the pair is so tiny. It's going to be so easy to lose. So try and keep track of it I'm terrible as well I, I keep them all on my um on my blocks till the end of the project and that's how you lose things okay so where do, there's my punches so it fits perfect can you see that And there's my little pair and it just leaves an edging in there so as you can see if you had put the mask over the top of it, it wouldn't have punched right for you there we go I had three pairs before there's three pairs there what else did I have one two three strawberries so let's do some strawberries so for the strawberries, I used Real Red. What I worked out with the strawberries is when you come to stamp them, you don't want to push down hard into the ink pad. You just want to get a light layer because otherwise those little seed parts of the strawberry get covered over. I'll show you what I mean. A light punch will do that. If you push it in and then do that, oh, that's done it on purpose. I had one, where is it, on the side of my desk yesterday, and I hadn't put the right amount of ink on, and it did that. So you just need to have a light touch, and it will stamp them like that. I use Lemon Lime Twist again for the top part I have done them in garden green as well on another project and it looks just as nice in garden green but I'm using lemon lime twist because that's what's on my paper I bring it all in And the strawberry punch. One, 
to shadows in there I can't see if I'm getting it right yes I did so there's my three strawberries now I've got my pineapple I had two pineapples so for the pineapple base I used crumb cake one two for the pineapple top I used garden green so that it just stuck out but I'm going to use wild wasabi this time because I forgot to get my garden green ink out I don't keep that handy whereas my wild wasabi is that one seems really sort of tropical to be doing these I don't know why it's making me feel holiday-ish and I don't know why I feel holiday-ish from fruit right so I'm just going to take that off because as I said I ran out of blocks so I need to put my melon on. There we go. Oh, look at that. I used garden green again there. So let me get my wild wasabi down again. I'm going to show you a really handy tip with this punch. It will make you want this punch, or it made me want the punch. Real red. I hope that's not off screen. I hope you can see it. I haven't done that very good at all. I'm not going to use those ones. I'm not happy with them. I know my head's not over it. but I've left a gap so I'm not I'm not happy rejects right I'm ever so sorry you're going to see my head now I want to get them straight there we go there we are they're better right this punch just come in punch fell there they're so small these little pieces right what I was talking about with this punch it's really clever okay so if you've got a piece of square paper we'll pretend that's square I know I haven't cut it right and you put it into the punch like that and you just take the corner off take the other corner off And do that you have got a little tag there all made from using the melon punch put your ribbon through and you can hang it I've done it on this box here which I'm not showing you all of it because I've got a tutorial coming up for that later in the week but I thought that was such a nifty little trick as soon as I saw it I thought that I'm having that punch just for that <laughs> so I'm now going to come in with my sentiment which is I used you are the sweetest before I think I'm going to use that again. I like that, it's a cute sentiment. And I stamped it in night and navy. So where did I put my night and navy? I'll put it back. No, I didn't. There it is. You are the sweetest. There we go. And I used my liquid glue for this. 
just because it was easy. Um, you could also use a, a glue dot would be really handy for this as well. So I'm just going to turn them all upside down. Put a tiny little bit of glue on and just a hint, just put a tiny bit because you're going to be layering all of these fruits on top here. And the best way to get them all underneath the next one is by only putting a bit of glue on and doing it in the middle so that you can manoeuvre all the other fruits around. So just lay them on top of your basket. Simple. I suppose this has ended up quite a long video because of the punching and showing the paper, but it's worth it because this is just such a, a gorgeous set. I do like this set. If you're interested or looking for products on the Occasions catalogue, if you go over to my blog, which is slimandstylish.com, you'll be able to join in the blog hop and see all of the posts that everyone else has done. There's 50 people involved in the blog and they can you can pick any products or we could have picked any products from the catalogue. So you'll have a nice variation of all the different sets there. It's not doing celebration. Um, celebration is a blog hop for that a bit later on, I believe. Um, this is purely for spring summer catalogue. If you're unsure on celebration, you're watching. Celebration is where you can, per whenever you purchase 45 pounds worth of kit, from Stamping Up, in the celebration period, you get to pick a free item from the celebration catalogue. If you need the catalogues, let me know. So that's just going to sit on there. And what I'm going to do is we've got some clear epoxy dots, which are new. They are clear and glitter, so I will show you both. They're the clear ones show you actually on the background so you can probably see better there they're completely clear and these ones have got a real nice glitter and shine to them so you get them both in the pack you've got the teardrop one the small circles and the big circles I'm using the completely clear ones where's my paper piercer gone it's run away there it is these are tricky to get off the paper I will tell you that I was having so much fun with them yesterday you're better sliding it over to the side and picking it up from there because it it's tricky to get them off the paper there we go and there we are again just put those three on now what I'm going to do is just Pop some liquid glue on the inside of that. Just pop it onto that lemon line. It shouldn't have much of a, a gap, just a tiny little one for the window. And then I'm just going to come in with some dimensionals. There you go, there's the finished card using the punch art as well as layering. Hope you enjoyed and I'll speak to you all soon. Thanks everybody. Bye.